Yeah, welcome to Belmar. This is view from our porch. Looking out at the pool. Got a nice area. Skiing in the ocean. Got lots of yeah, got like 16 rooms here, I think, maybe 20, like that. This is our little porch area. Got a nice little drying station, which we used a lot. <laughs> got our table. Got the regulators. More of our gear. Other gear drying right now. It's Day of the big dry. We're heading out tomorrow morning. Got our fine living room. The big TV. Decent kitchen area. It's kind of nice. Tooling through. Actually got a decent refrigerator. No oven, but that stove top works pretty good. Oop. Grabbing some fruit. In a second. Okay. Heading out. Yeah, got a bedroom in there. <laughs> Head out. Stairs we climb every day. <laughs> yep. There's our truck V1533, where we drive to all the dive sites, sit in those seats, and get them awfully wet with salt water. <laughs> That's where we throw the tanks hop on this road and we go south <laughs> in that direction. Lots of other trucks here. Everybody, well not everybody does the uh, does the shore diving, but a lot of some people do boats, but most people, most people do shore diving. This kind of heads back. It's heading over to that pool area. We do it here a handful of times. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And everybody, everybody dries their gear outside in the wind. It's comfortable. Safe. Everything's locked up. Tough to get into. They keep air over here, nitrox you have to grab from over by the office, which isn't that close, unfortunately. Oh, the iguanas left. Shoot, where did they go? I wanted to see the iguanas. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, they're over here. Oops. I'm sorry, do you mind if I no, go over by the iguanas for a minute? Hi guys. Yep, not trying to intimidate. Some of the local fauna. <laughs> They're pretty good guys. Hi. Yep. We like papaya. I know. Oh, it's okay. Pie is good. Yep. Iguanas like papaya. <laughs> it's actually good for them, so don't feel bad feeding them this. It'll just go to waste if we don't eat it. Throw some more down there. There you go. There you go. Lots of papaya for you guys. Yep. Happy iguanas. Enjoy your snack. You guys take care. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, we have several rooms. The only downside of our room is that we don't have access to here without going to the other side, so we have to bring our gear down every time and carry it through, but we usually only dive here at night anyway. So it's, we got in, I think we do it like three times during the day. It's a nice garden area. Give you one more, oh, off in the distance. Kind of, you can kind of make out the rest of Bonaire. We're in the south end of a crescent. Yeah, we'll walk back out again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just back through the corridor. <laughs> Mostly in the room. Got a few. Got a few rooms for things for gear over there. Everybody got. We use them for our regulators and stuff. This is the office. Grab tanks. All the green green ones are nitrox, red ones are air. Yep. And we usually we're breathing the nitrox these days. It's higher oxygen, a little less demanding on you. You don't feel as tired. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's Belmar. There's the rest of Bone Air. And you guys, take care, and here is the sacrificial diver. <laughs> it's an advertisement that looks like it got wind blown, blown over, because that's an example of kind of what we do. You just load up the tanks in the back of your truck and load up all your gear back there, you suit up at the beach, and you walk in. Then you got all these vehicles. Everybody here is doing kind of the same thing, but like I said, not everybody does a shore dive. I think they do lots of boats, and some people just dive offshore. I mean, they just dive off the uh, dive off the pier and back. But I would say that's that's you know less than half by a long shot. But a lot of people that just do boats on the pier. And that's. Hmm. That's about it. <laughs>